Hello folks, this is uh, 2022 October November paper 1 1 and the question number is 11. It is concerned with the topic of forces and is about the center of gravity. It says a square board of length x, length x, hangs uh, freely from a nail P as shown. So nail P is over here. The board has uniform thickness and is made from material of uniform density. Okay. A second square board of side length 2x, so 2x, 2x, is made of the same material and has the same thickness as the original board, everything okay. The second board is then hung from a nail Q, nail Q, nails P and Q are at the same height, so the height is same. What's the vertical distance between the positions of the center of gravity of the two boards? So, we have to find its center of gravity here, we have to find its center of gravity here, and we have to find the find the vertical distance between them so we have to find this separation so for that what i need to do is uh let me draw a line like this a line like this and also let me draw a line like this so this is a c1 let us say center of gravity one and this is a c2 now the first thing is uh, let me name the things like this so this is p prime p prime this is q prime so this is c1 should be half of this p p prime first let us find the p p prime so p p prime should be equal to it is our right angled triangle so that's why its value should be equal to root of x square plus x square so this should be equal to root of 2x square and that will be equal to root 2 then x so p p prime is equal to root 2 then x then for the same thing here what we have is q q prime should be equal to q q prime should be equal to this is a right angle triangle so i must have i must have 2x whole square plus 2x whole squared so this should be equal to inside the root it will be 4x square plus 4x square equal to 8x squared so this should be equal to 2 root 2x 2 root 2x so this is q q prime now here so what i should do is what is this pc prime pc1 so this uh, pc1 should be equal to half of this thing half of pp1 1 by 2 pp1 so that's equal to equal to half of this thing half of this thing so it should be equal to root 2 x by 2 similarly this q c2 this q c2 should be equal to 1 by 2 of q q1 and that's equal to 2 root 2 x by 2 that will be equal to root 2 x now so if i draw it like this like this so this distance, so this distance is the separation between these two. Distance of vertical distance between C1 and C2. So the required distance so y is equal to is equal to uh, q c2 minus uh, p c1. That's equal to root 2 x minus root 2 x by 2. So if I do like this, if I do this, so this is equal to root 2 x is common x is common it is 1 minus 1 by 2 equal to root 2 by 2 x and that's equal to x by root 2 so that becomes x by root 2 so this is the vertical distance between these two points so the answer that we have is available in choice p so this should be the correct choice